is Sarah Blues and it's video cast. Today is Friday, it's the 26th of October. It's actually not that grey today. <laughs> it's not raining, it's cloudy, but I've actually seen the sun today, which is quite the achievement in the four winter months in Norway. <laughs> so there you go. Um, nothing to complain about. <laughs> If this is your first time stopping by, welcome and thank you for joining in and giving my podcast a chance. I really appreciate it. And if you're a new viewer, no, that I already said that. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for stopping, coming back. Yeah, coming back and for spending a little bit of your time with me. There's a lot of brilliant podcasts out there and I truly, truly appreciate you choosing to spend some time with me. Um, this is a video podcast primarily about knitting. I do enjoy a lot of different creative and crafting bits and bobs, but today it's going to be all knitting because um, this episode is a little bit, uh, it took a little bit longer than I intended to get going. Um, I guess uh, we're at three, maybe three or four weeks and I was planning on getting it done a lot earlier but then I had to do a lot of night shifts and that just makes it quite difficult to record because when I'm uh, when I get off work in the morning I have to sleep and when I wake up it's you know late afternoon and there's no natural light and um, yeah and also my brain doesn't fully function after a couple of night shifts and I'm just too sleepy and everything works too slow to record. So there you have it. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, I am Salabalusa Knits on Instagram. That's where I'm most active and um, yeah, where it's easiest to, I guess, interact with me. Um, I love photography, I love Instagram, um, so that's definitely my jam. If you have any questions or inquiries, if you you know, anything at all, collaborations. I am knits at gmail.com. That's my email address. Feel free to, um, uh, yeah, send any questions or inquiries that way. I'm Salapalooza on Ravelry and we have a podcast Ravelry group called Salapalooza Knits uh, Podcast. So my name is Elizabeth. I'm coming to you from the beautiful city of Bergen, which is west, west bleh, which is located in the western part of Norway. And I live here with my wonderful boyfriend, Christian. And um, I work in the psychiatry field when I'm not knitting or designing or, you know, doing all of those <laughs> lovely things. Um, yes, I guess that's all for them that's all you need to know for the intro let's just get into it grab your preferred cozy beverage and your knitting or your refreshing beverage if that's what you need it's hot somewhere in the world um so yeah whatever beverage you prefer <laughs> it doesn't need to be refreshing or cozy either you know it could be disgusting if that's your preference i'm having a sip of hazelnut coffee and then we'll jump into it All right, there's quite a bit of admin to get through today, so I'm just going to zoom all the way through it. Um, Rachel of the Knit and Knit Abilities podcast and Stevie of BB's Handmade Dress and myself, we hosted a knit along called the Fall Prep Cal, and um, I am horrifically overdue with announcing the winners because I haven't recorded, so here we go. Uh, I'm drawing a winner from the FO thread and one from the chatter thread because um, I really appreciate everyone who's joined in the chatter and just made it fun and enjoyable for everyone and you know just getting that interaction going with other knitters. Um, unfortunately I haven't been able to be as um, as active in the group as I'd like um but um yes but i i appreciate all of you for 
for hanging in there and for, you know, keeping up the good work in the group. I'm just pulling up the names here, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the, the cow was all about knitting what you wanted to wear for fall. Um, and there was so many lovely, lovely entries. And uh, I had the best time going through everyone's uh, posts and um, there were so many beautiful things in the, in the group. So good job everyone. Okay, from the chatter thread, the winner is Paperclip Knits, who is Annie or I think Anina, uh, but let's go with Annie for, for um, yes, in case I'm mistaken. I think it's Anina, but okay, Annie. <laughs> Paperclip Knits. Um, your prize is the Nordic Delights Mitten Pattern by the beautiful and talented Lily of Nordic Stitches. Um, she has a brilliant podcast. She's doing the October. She's a designer. She's just fabulous and um, such a beautiful person. And uh, yes, someone that I'm lucky enough to call my friend. And um, this is the pattern that I was lucky enough to um, test knit for her. And you get a copy of the pattern, you lucky girl, Annie. And um, feel just please get in touch with me so that I can, um, yes, get it sent your way. And from the FO thread, <clears throat> um, this <laughs> this uh, lovely lady knit the campsite shawl and it was gorgeous and I think she did have a little bit of struggles with it so uh, I was really pleased to see that you won uh, it's Amy who is squirrel 21 on Ravelry congratulations um, you win my entire Hello sock collection so all three patterns um, just get in touch with me and I'll get that over to you. <clears throat> um, and speaking of the uh, Hello Sock collection, we also have a knit along going uh, in the Ravelry group. Sorry, I'm just moving around a little bit. I just can't seem to get uh, comfortable today. Um, yes, Hello Sock Along. It's the name of the knit along that I'm hosting in the Ravelry group. It's um, just knit whatever pattern you'd like from the uh, Hello Sock collection or, you know, everyone if you'd like. <laughs> and um, it will run at least through November. And I am considering running it through uh, just all the way through this year. Uh, so. It, it would either end late, late December or late, late November. Either way, you've got um, all the time in the world. As I'm saying that, I'm thinking, let's just do it for the rest of the year. Let's run it through uh, through December as well. Um, so you've got, you know, two at least two months and a little bit more than that to knit a pair or three of socks uh, and join in the, um, the fun. The knit along is in the um, Salad Blues and its Ravelry group and um, I've got uh, both some pattern prizes and some physical prizes to send out to the winners and I'm really excited about them so uh, and I really think you'll be too so please join in uh, the prizes will be really good and uh, if you'd like to donate a prize for the Hello Sock Along, please get in touch with me and I would really appreciate it. Spread the love. Um, okay, speaking of the Resurrect, no, the Hello Sock Collection, my, I could really get some excellent um, transitioning here if I, if I tried, but uh, I guess uh, I'm just a little too slow today. Anyways, 
Resurrection, it's the final pattern of the Hallow sock collection. It has been released, it's officially here, and boy oh boy am I excited about it. Um, Resurrection is um, the third installation of the Hallow sock collection. If you're not familiar, I have um, this summer I announced a collection starting in August. Uh, it was a three-piece pattern collection and I would release one, um, one sock pattern each month for three months um, and the three patterns are Invisibility, Elda and Resurrection and uh, I'm just I'm so excited that it's that they're all out there also it feels weird because you know, I've spent so much time working on these patterns and just the concept and everything around it from starting, you know, this spring. Uh, it's been going on and it's been a work in progress and taking up a lot of my time and my crafting time. And yeah, it's just, it's so strange that it's all out there, but also very, very thrilling. And, um, Thank you so much to everyone who's purchased the pattern, who has shared the patterns um, or pictures of the patterns in social media and just spreading the love and the words and um, for all your kind words. I, I just, uh, I can't even express how grateful I am uh, that you've taken them, taken, what's, ne what's the word? Uh, I'm just, I keep thinking in Norwegian and talking in English, English was, blah, it doesn't really work. But thank you for um, welcoming them, let's go that road. Um, thank you for welcoming them and for being so positive and um, I really, 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 truly appreciate each and every one of you. So without further ado, let me show you the third pattern is Resurrection. And there we go. This is Resurrection. The yarn is Foxglove by Knit Cosmic String, and the contrasting pink uh, on the heel, toes, and cuffs is Cherry Blossom by Lemmington Las Yarns. This is a fingering weight pattern, it's knit top down, uh, like all of the the Hello Sock collection. It's got a um, also look at those. I'll talk about them later. They've got a um, a lacy pattern. Um, let's see. Can you focus? It's got a lacy pattern. Um, it's not, it's not difficult, um, but it does provide a lot of interest and I really love the way that these uh, look when you put them on. I'll try to <laughs> demonstrate with my hand for a second, uh, but you basically get these alternating um, lace patterns going all the way there we go, all the way down the foot and all around the calf and um, it's just, I really, I truly, truly love this pattern myself if that's, that's not too obnoxious to say um, and also just have a close up on the bottom uh, of the foot we've just got some stockinette just so that you can see this beautiful yarn here by Knit Cosmic String, it's fox glove and uh, yeah I think it's just super pretty I really like this yarn and that contrasting is so pretty if, you, if you're not familiar with Knit Cosmic String they've got incredible incredible uh, colorways um, I really really love their yarn and um, 
The contrasting, like I said, was made by Lamington Lats Yarns and um, a lot of my minis I've gotten from them because they have tons of minis and they are quite affordable and their shipping rates, at least to Norway, is pretty good. So, um, yeah, so I do like getting minis from them and they're also really beautiful tonals and um, just, yeah, really good colorways, great yarn. Uh, okay, so this is Resurrection. It's the final pattern, the last installment of the Hello Sock Collection. Also, big thanks to everyone who um, ordered the pattern as a mystery, as a mystery pattern. Um, I had them up um, as a mystery pre-order, um, and quite a few of the uh, <laughs> quite a few of you um, jumped on that, which I thought was really really fun and um, a little nerve-wracking, but. <laughs> Um, all good feedback so thank you so much um, clearly the um, the pattern is inspired by the resurrection stone uh, I don't I can't remember if I said that and um, we've got yeah they're all three here I'm so excited <laughs> thank you for once again thank you for all your wonderful feedback um, I truly appreciate it the pattern is up on Ravelry and so are both um, Invisibility and Elfda. Um, yeah, make sure you enter in the Hello Sock Along on Ravelry for some great prizes and a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, where to begin? Should I start with Bergen Knitting Festival or should I start with what I'm working on? Ah, let's just do a quick, let's just talk for a moment about Bergen Sticker Festival. The Bergen Knitting Festival, it was um, a few weeks ago and um, I was invited to come and um, I received um, a weekend pass from uh, the festival and I I can't even oh it was it was such a good weekend and I met so many incredible beautiful people and I felt just creatively um, it was like my creativity tank just got completely filled up and uh, I was so energized after that weekend. It was strange because I felt, I, in one way I felt really tired because you know there's a lot of impressions, there's a lot of people and so much things happening. Uh, so I thought maybe I'd sleep for a week and just be really tired but that wasn't really the case. I was just bubbling over with creative energy and just couldn't wait to start working on some new designs and yes. And clearly the best part was meeting all of the fantastic people that were there. Um, just, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go through them all because that would take forever, but um, uh, Patricia of Nitography and Ellie of Skande and um, just oh, so many beautiful people and yarn dyes and Emilia of Arctic Knitting and Arctic Yarns and Jilly of Fjord Fibers and um, Caroline of um, Strickelina Yarns and Martin of Marnie's Yarns and um, Yil Karina of um, Yil Karina Knits, just oh, so many incredible people. Um, Birger, oh yeah, I'm just rambling now, but all of the fantastic people that were there. 
it just meant the world meeting everyone it's so strange when you talk when you finally meet someone in person that you've you know known through sort of social media and talk to a lot and feel like maybe you know a little bit but just meeting them in person and just realizing that you know they're real people and they're here and you can sit and knit and it was just it was the best let me tell you and um just the festival in itself was so charming it's the location is so stunning and beautiful and uh, okay i'm just you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna shoot a separate video uh sort of a vlog style video talking about the festival because this is going to if i go start going on about this i'm never getting finished i'll never be able to finish the podcast so whoop stopping at that i'm doing a separate vlog video head on over and check it out later i'll try to get it up as soon as i can okay Blah. well i just i really want to talk about it because i'm so excited about it but i'm well yeah big teaser there sorry about that i'm having some pepsi and i'm gonna show you what i'm working on all right what have I been working on? <laughs> it's clearly it's been a few weeks and um, for that reason luckily I have quite a bit of knitting. Sometimes when it's been a while um, it may be because I've been just too busy for anything and I haven't knit anything and I have nothing to show you but oh that's not entirely true I usually have some knitting because I'm one of those people who knit wherever I am. If I'm in queue at the grocery store, I'm knitting. If I am waiting for water to boil, I'll or just stirring pots or <laughs> whatever, I'm knitting while I do that. Um, I walk and knit, and I knit in the car. And yes, and not when I'm driving though. When I'm in the passenger seat, I knit. Okay. <clears throat> If you are not new to the podcast, you have seen this project before. It's my crystal cardigan. And guess what? It's not finished. Don't get overexcited. <laughs> but I've um, I've knit up to the part where you uh, split for the sleeves. So there it is. Ooh, a lot of stitches on the needles now. It's a little cramped together. Um, trying not to drop any stitches. But there you have it. It's a steeped cardigan, so there's a steep uh, line going through the front here. It's a little cramped together, but hopefully you can see the front piece anyway. And yes, it's the crystal cardigan. It turns out um i've just thoroughly enjoyed working on it and i brought it with me to the festival i worked on this for a little bit i hadn't gotten very far but i probably <laughs> i probably did one pattern repeat or something for the entire weekend maybe two um and uh yes i've just i've really enjoyed working on it it's a little cropped and quite fitted cardigan uh this is the extra, extra small uh, size. And um, yes, I'm, I'm just really liking how it's turning out. The yarn I'm using is, um, oh, just a sec, it's at the bottom. <laughs> of course it is at the bottom of the basket. Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's called Tin Merino. It's by Sonnes, Garn, Sonnes Yarns. It's the same that um, made the uh, pattern. It's the, the, um, the same factory that makes the yarn. It's just a really thin merino um, yarn. And 
Um, it's just a really, this yarn is sort of a, almost like a Norwegian staple. <laughs> um, when it comes to yarn, it's just really, really popular and it's good quality. There's nothing wrong with it. It's pretty colors, just a all around good commercial yarn. And yeah, so this is where I am on the cardigan, but guess what I've cast on the first sleeve. I haven't gotten very far on it, but I did the ribbing and I've done one pattern repeat and then started on the second one, barely, but there you have it. Uh, it's the first sleeve. So I am currently on Sleeve Island and I am loving it. <laughs> I think it's really beautiful. I think it's going to be so pretty when it's finished and um, I cannot wait to wear it. And that is most definitely why it's just zooming along and um, while I feel like I, I'm actually getting some work done on it because I want to wear it so much. <laughs> Um, yes, a little, um, I'm knitting the, I'm knitting it on the, um, um, Jagu Red Lace needles and for the sleeve I am using, um, Knit Pro Zings because those were the only ones that I had available at the moment. Um, I'm not super pleased with them. I know a lot of people love the Sing needles, but I just needed to knit a little bit. <laughs> I know a lot. Bleh, I know a lot of people are very, very happy with the Sing needles, but um, and what I do like about them is that they are quite lightweight. But I think that they are very. Um, the metal is really, really hard, so it's not at all comfortable to hold them. Um, and also, um, I prefer a sharper needle than this. Um, I think they're a little bit too blunt for my taste. Um, or oh, with color work, it's really no, it's not really a problem. Uh, but lace with these needles, for me, that's just horrendous. It does not work. I know a lot of people like the things and use them for everything, and that's, you know, that's um, fine, each to their own. But it just does not really work for me. Um, the other thing that's a little bit annoying is that this was the only one that I had um, that was, I can knit over here if you want, <laughs> the only thing that I had that was available, uh, which means uh, in the right, um, this is the 3mm that I'm using for the colour work uh, portion and uh, basically it's, the cable is way too long which is super annoying and it just takes up a bit of time when you need to change it and just pulling the cable through uh, because clearly this is magic loop and um, yeah that's just the way it is it's just a little bit annoying but you know it's fine I might actually get a second three millimeter or not a second another three millimeter needle just so that I don't have to do the this because I think it would go a lot quicker um, and I actually don't have a lot of three millimeter needles and I'm not sure if I have a sleeve length cable for a three millimeter needle um, I thought that was no mm, maybe I should just get a separate um, set of carbons uh, three millimeter interchangeable carbon so that I can just use with them um, with my interchangeable kit I'll, I'll uh, think about it <laughs> anyways the sleeves are I'm on sleeve island it's lovely here it's sunny uh, and <laughs> just easy easy breezy um, and hopefully I will get some more work done on the sleeves this week um, I'm working all weekend so there probably won't be a lot of knitting time then but who knows maybe I'll sneak in a couple of rows all right 
Um, new cast on. I'm just jumping, jumping ahead. Living in my Pliska knitwear project bag. Uh, this is the, I think it's called Dusty Pink or Dusty Rose colour with the leather handle. Um, living in there is um, my Sipila by Boylan Networks, of course, Caitlin Hunter. I, before I went to the knitting festival, I was thinking that I wanted to buy um, yarn to make a short sleeve Sipila. Uh, I really love that pattern and I, yeah, I just, I like the short sleeve version a little bit better than the long sleeve version. So I really wanted to do, to, to do that. <laughs> and so I picked up um, a couple of skeins from Garum Sur. If you, oh, here's a needle. Is this a three millimeter one? No, it's too thin. Yeah, 275 too bad <laughs> I just have random loose needles lying in every project bag for some reason which is a little weird because um, it's a little weird because I actually have a lot of systems in place for <laughs> knitting needles but somehow they just keep on popping up everywhere um, this is the main color that I whoops we go this is the main color that I chose for the Sipila. It's by Gormsur. I don't remember the name. I will put it in the show notes. I thought the full bands were in this bag, but clearly they are not. Okay, this beauty, anyways. <laughs> and the contrasting is this golden mustard yellow. I love this colour and these two together are just dreamy. They are exactly what I wanted. So that's what I'm doing and here is my progress on it. A lot of needles here, <laughs> no sorry a lot of stitches on the needles, it's a little cramped but there we go see if we can maybe it's easier to do it like that <laughs> it's really hard to show it at this point let's try to hold it down and also it's really cramped together for some reason I've managed to um, keep do the floats a little bit tight on some of the portions of the the color work here which is really annoying because I'm afraid that it might pucker a little bit um, I think it happened while watching something really scary on TV I really hope it will even out because puckering does not look good if you don't if you're not familiar with puckering or um, color work knitting it's basically um, if you're working with two strands uh, you carry them with you um, on on the back side of the knitting so that you can do the different color work um, but if you keep and the, the part the thread that you're not using and just carrying it's called um, it's called the floats in the back you can see all of these are floats um, and uh, if you pull them too tight when you're carrying them in the back then it can cause what's known as puckering which is basically that um, the f because the thread is too tight in the back it makes the front lace known in the front color work sort of pucker out out of the fabric a little bit um, I don't think it's enough that you'll be able to see it, but here's a little bit of puckering right there. 
Can you see that? My, maybe. No, you can't see it, but you can see the pattern. It's really pretty. It's by Caitlin Hunter Boiler Networks, of course. Um, and I'm really excited with how this is going to to look. Um, and I'm knitting it on my Lucca interchangeable needles um, and it works really well. I love these needles. So, um, yes, this is where I'm at. Um, there's quite a bit of the colour work portion left actually before I'm starting to worry if I have enough yarn. <laughs> yeah, no, it's probably going to be enough. I hope it is. <laughs> I'm really pleased with um, my color my color choices. I think that they are just so pretty together. And yes, there is a little bit of that mustard, just a tiny, tiny bit of that mustard in the purple, but it's so little that I don't think it just will affect the, the pattern itself. But there's definitely, I mean, it's definitely going to be a little bit more discreet than it would be if it was just one entirely white and just, you know, real up, straight up tonals. Because there is speckling in the purple one. Um, but I think it works and I like it. So I'm going with it. <laughs> and this golden mustard is just the prettiest thing. I love it. Love it. Alright, that's the Supila. It's where I'm at. There's, you know, there's a lot left. <laughs> I've just gotten started on it. Um, but it's, um, yeah, it's, it's a really enjoyable project. Um, and right now I think I've, I just feel like I've got so many projects that I need to you know, think about when I'm knitting them that I'm actually really excited about getting past the colour work section and onto the, um, the stockinettes portion of the sweater, which I guess is kind of a little bit sad because um, the thing about Caitlin Hunter's patterns is clearly that they are so, so gorgeous in their colour work, at least the colour work patterns. <laughs> Um, so I wish I was enjoying that maybe a little bit more. Um, maybe I should put it down for a couple of weeks and see if, um, yeah, if I'm more excited about the colour work then. I don't know. It's not, it's not really a problem if I'm not overexcited about the colour work. It's not. It's not a problem. I still enjoy the project. Okay, so remember the... I already showed you the Nordic Delights mentions that I did for my beautiful friend Lily of Nordic Stitches, um, no, Nordic Knitting, um, that is, Nordic Knitting Design and the Nordic Knitting Podcast. Um, she's just a brilliant designer and she asked me to test knit um, these beautiful Nordic Delights mittens. And uh, obviously I did and was super excited about that. And here they are in all their glory. Seems like I only brought one of them. But you get the gist. <laughs> I knit them out of um, the pink one. No, sorry, the, the, this one. The neutral speckled one is Magnolia by Lay Family Yarns. It's the same colorway that I knit my Tenya out of. Uh, and the pink one is um, Super Socks Cashmere by Lang. And um, I, <laughs> I love these so much. The cashmere makes them so, so soft. They are such a joy to wear. The trouble, uh, or oh, it's not really trouble, but the, I didn't really notice that the Magnolia colorway, it, the, it has some speckles in it and the pink speckles 
uh, there aren't a lot of them there are just a couple of them and they just completely it's completely the same color as the the super socks cashmere the pink one so that um, I was afraid that it wouldn't it wouldn't really um, work too well with the pattern that maybe it would sort of water out the pattern a bit but it I don't think it did I think it's just gorgeous and maybe it, you know the contrast could be a little bit higher but I just love them like this they are so uh, they are so soft and the pattern is so so pretty I absolutely adore them Lily is just such a genius the pattern is now released it's out it's available on Ravelry so you know if you want to knit mittens put these on the list because they are gorgeous 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 yes all right um and the little lip. speaking of test knits i've um started a new one um that's that is to say i'm test knitting another pair of mittens by um, the lovely Matilda of Organic Knitters and um, I can show you so I am showing you I'm knitting them out of Reuma Finul which is a Norwegian wool and it's uh, oops it's a little um, what should I say it's a little scratchy but uh, it's supposed to soften up really really good after a while um, and these are the colors I'm using one is this really deep wine red and the other one is this very soft um, peachy pink and I'm really pleased with the color choices um, this is the ball band mm -mm -mm. let's see if we can get that there we go yeah so that's that it's a hundred percent um Norwegian wool and uh, yes uh, I've done the cuff which looks like this we've got some Latvian braids on here and some really pretty color work and I th the pattern is really pretty it's um, you can see it on the organic knitters uh, Instagram um, yeah I'm I think that these will be super super cute um, yeah I think just look at that isn't that cute it really is a beautiful pattern and I'm just so honored to that she wanted me to test them for her and um, um, yeah it's it, the pattern will be out by November 23rd uh, so it's a little while away but not really that far oh there's so many beautiful mittens and these will be so so pretty they are truly a joy to work with I haven't gotten that far but still I really 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 love working on these so much fun um, yes I don't really have a lot to do you know show you so I don't have a lot to talk about because I don't want to um, yeah give it all away <laughs> but there you have it I'm working on these uh, I'm knitting it uh, I'm knitting it on my knit pro carbons um, which you know I really love when they don't fall apart um, and uh, yeah it's the wool is still really scratchy and a little rough on the hands but I'm hoping that it will soften up quite a bit um, and I do feel like I need to moisturize my hands quite a bit while working with this but um, just the effect of it together it just it's so pretty um, 
and just this um, Norwegian wool with color work is just oh it's so so pretty yeah so this is going to be uh, prioritized probably quite a bit in the next few weeks um, so that I can get it done and everything um, and I'll post photos on Instagram while I do that so you can see what I'm up to all right um, quick um, quick thing about planning sort of dream knitting planned knitting whatever you want to call it uh, you already know this if you are following my vlogtober if you don't know I'm doing vlogtober uh, just shooting a couple of snippets every day and um, vlogging it on YouTube on my channel but uh, last weekend on Sunday the 21st was my birthday and it was a really good day um, uh, blah, blah, blah. point being I got some money from my grandmother um, and one of my grandmothers she used to be a professional sample knitter and um, yeah she's incredible uh, she's I think 96, 97, 96, no, yeah, about that. She's a grown up woman and uh, I really wanted to buy some yarn and pattern to um, make a cardigan or a jumper or something uh, from the money that she gave me for my birthday. So what I've decided on is making uh, the um, Valdal uh, cardigan. It's also by Sanna's Yarns, uh, Sanna's Gone, because that is the company that she used to work for. And it's called, um, yeah, Valdal. Valdal. <laughs> it's hard to say. It looks like this. Hopefully you can see that. Let's try to focus it a bit more. So this one. And uh, yes, I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be really pretty and uh, just something a little bit different and um, Yes, just something uh, that will be sort of from her in a way that I've made and it's sort of, yeah, I think that would be really nice. So the yarn, I'm actually, I've already bought it and it's actually the one in the photo. Um, it's called Torva uh, and it is by the same company, Sun is Yarn. And this is the colorway. 10, 12, and the contrast thing that I'm using for all the colour work is this bright, bright coral. And I think that that will be just very modern and fun and uh, yeah, really nice. It's called uh, 4207. There are a lot of, um, yeah, it's, I, you know, I'm just constantly working with hand dyed yarn so it's been a little bit interesting to use some commercial yarns and um, yeah it's great this is 100% Norwegian wool um, as well and um, it's it feels quite scratchy let me tell you it feels super scratchy at this point and my skin is a little bit sensitive to that, to really scratchy wool. So I'm um, a little bit, just a tiny bit concerned about that. Hopefully it will all be good and um, there won't be any issues with it and it will soften up. Uh, because I, I'm, if it's going to be as scratchy as this, it will be too hard on my skin. Uh, I can't wear it directly on my skin, but um, hopefully it's going to soften up. 
Okay, so a little, just a little dream knitting there, and then I'm uh, walking you through my acquisitions at the Knitting Festival. Okay, first of all, if you, maybe you know this, I love greenery, I love plants and flowers and all of those pretty things. So I had to buy this tote <laughs> with green plants on it. <laughs> It's so cool and so cute, and it's by Hipnet Shop. There's the logo down there, and the bag is called Plant Lover. And yes, I think these are for sale on Hipnet Shop um, at their website. And um, yeah, just so you know. But anyways, this just had to come home with me, clearly. So I bought that. Um, like I mentioned, I met the lovely Patricia of Knitography, who is, oh, she's so sweet and so beautiful and wonderful and it was so special to meet her. Um, and like my, on top of my list for the festival was getting some of her blockers and so I did. These are the mitten blockers by Photography. They are so beautiful. All of these are made um, by hand, laser cut by hand um, out of trees from her farm. How how beautiful is that? I love these. Um, I actually bought this as sort of as a birthday present. Um, because my birthday was last week, oh, on Sunday. I got sock blockers too. <laughs> so these are the sock blockers once again by Knitography um, Patricia. They're handmade from trees on their land. I mean, how wonderful is that? I love these so much I can't even tell you they are so lightweight and they smell good I even got um, I got this balm to to um, put on them so they won't dry up um, sort of I think it was like a beeswax oily thing um, so that's yes this is by far the thing I'm probably most excited about <laughs> I've wanted these for so long <laughs> And now I have both mission and sock bloggers. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Um, another one of the makers that I was so excited to meet was the beautiful Amelia of Arct Arctic Yarns and Arctic Knitting Podcast. Um, she is such a um, such a sweetheart and. Um, uh, yeah, she's absolutely wonderful and I uh, picked up a couple of skeins uh, from her. It's on a sparkle sock base and it's called chocolate. And here it is. I really, really wanted to um, get not just single skeins of sock yarn on the festival. I really wanted to buy um, some different um, maybe some sweater quantities or at least two of the same ones um, and <laughs> these are so pretty the sparkling is just amazing I hope you can see that it's silver stellina and um, yes this is called chocolate I was almost thinking maybe I wanted to do a second tenure in this <laughs> it might happen so pretty that's that um, and I got there was a new this was a new um, let's see a new dye to me it's called um, Spurte Garn and I got two skeins of this one um, it's called uh, Krokus It's just a really, let's see if we can get that to focus a bit better. Um, 
it's just this really pretty purple speckly neutral um, it's just really soft and um, yeah these speckles are so pretty <laughs> just purple and lilac and a little pink in there so that's crocus I got two of those there we have it and I got two of these um, what is it called? It doesn't have a name on it, apparently, but it's just, uh, I really like this, uh, it's just another tonal, and I hadn't really seen anything quite this, in this colour before, it's, I, I really don't know how to describe it, it's kind of like a dirty brown yellowish color I have no idea what to call this it's almost like the foam on a cappuccino it's almost that sort of color so I got two of those and um, it's by the same company Spirit the Girl new to me and let's see Jilly of Fjord Fibers she is such a sweetheart and I really wanted to try her yarn so I got this skein of Fjord Fibers it's Fjord Fibers at Etsy and um, this is a uh, this is on a Trollfjord sock base it's a 80% Norwegian wool and 20% um, polyester and it's just absolutely stunning this really really spoke to me this colorway um, it's called lakeside walk which I thought was so so fitting super talented and beautiful Caroline of Strikelina um, her booth was it was so pretty I wanted everything um, so I bought, I bought this one, which is, I really, really hope it shows on screen how pretty this is. It's this bright, bright, bright pink. And then it's got these yellow speckles and orange speckles. And it is so, so, so pretty. So I got one of these, but then <laughs> as soon as I came home, I basically had to have another one. So I ordered another one of these and I just got a text that it's on the post office so I can go and pick that up later. It's her skinny merino base, it's 100% merino. Um, and it's so soft and so pretty and she was the sweetest person um, I went to talk to her and check out her booth and we just uh, I just hugged her I felt like <laughs> from the customers because we just kept on talking and it was so nice and um, she is the kindest and sweetest person she gifted me some unbelievably gorgeous minis. This colour is the prettiest plum I think I've ever seen. It is absolutely spectacular. It's absolutely spectacular. And um, then this incredible rust and she gifted me all of these and uh, it was so sweet and we had such a lovely talk and I just it made me so I was so touched and honored that she wanted to give me these I got all emotional on her sorry about that Caroline <laughs> 
and yeah they they are just so so pretty and she's got um her web shop is um strickelina.com i'm just going to double check that really quickly i think it's dot com yes strickelina.com i'll put it in the show notes um yeah it's she's got the most beautiful shop so make sure you check her out if you're looking for something if you're looking for some uh something new some new yarn and yeah that was probably it i think we're almost there no but one more oh and also i completely forgot to brought it out but um amelia of arctic knitting and the arctic knitting podcast she gifted me a little Selbu mitten pin and I completely forgot to get it um, ready for the podcast but it is the prettiest thing ever. I've been wearing it almost daily. I love it so, so much. Um, I've posted pictures on my Instagram so head on over there so you can have a look at it. It's the prettiest thing. I'll, you know what, I'll try to pop in a picture here. So you can see it it's so so pretty and that too it just made me all <laughs> emotional and just I'm so overwhelmed when people just give want to gift me something it's thank you <laughs> thank you okay the last thing I bought was from from uh, Strikisela it's a couple of pretty little knitting accessories um, the first one was a tiny gauge ruler. Um, I have the gauge, uh, the big uh, twig and horn gauge ruler, which I love. Uh, but it is a little bit soft. The material is a little soft, so it doesn't feel very sturdy. Uh, but this one is really sturdy, um, which is lovely, especially since it's so small. Um, but it does feel really, really sturdy. Um, and it is just five by five centimeters. So I'm really happy about that. It fits perfectly in a, uh, in a project bag. So it's very easily, um, easy to carry around. And then I got this, which I guess technically is a stitch marker. Um, or at least it's, well, you know, it's on a ring. <laughs> but it's this tiny little uh, ruler as well. It's just a tiny ruler with, let's see, there we go, with tiny little ants walking on it. Isn't that cute? Uh, also, perfect to carry around um, in your project bag. These were so cute. They had so many of these tiny little wood um, things, <laughs> accessories. Um, oh, there's her card. Let's just show that off really quickly. So you can go and check her out if you if you like what you see. I will link to this in the show notes as well. Um, Oh yes, and one little, I just had to get this cute little stitch marker. Um, mm, mm, mm. Come on. One more time. There we go. <laughs> it's a tiny little bee. Yeah. I just, this had to come home with me. And I think that these are made from the, the leftover wood after making all of these. So that, I thought that was really sweet. So I had to, yeah, they had to come home with me. And yes, I think that's, I think that's actually it for my acquisitions. Um, the festival was brilliant. I'll post a vlog, I'll make a vlog. <laughs> And yes, I had a birthday on Sunday. Thank you to everyone for your well wishes and for buying my patterns and everything. That was so sweet. 
and it was a really brilliant day. Um, I was woken in bed um, with this gigantic um, bouquet of long stemmed red roses from Christian and um, then I slept for a little bit more. He'd been on a night shift so he got home, home at like um, 8, 8.30, 9am, um, maybe around 9 or maybe he got off at 9, maybe 9.30. At least I was still sleeping, I was sleeping in on my birthday. Um, oh, and they still smell really beautifully. <laughs> Uh, yes, and then um, what happened? We just had a really relaxing day and got some pastries and baked goods and just everything that we craved in the morning for breakfast, which was lovely. And um, it was just a really good relaxing day. I did some knitting and we went out to dinner and... Um, Yes, it was really good. Um, I got a, not knitting related, but a lot of fun. I got this uh, sort of a, what's it called? Advanced fitness tracker. It's by Fitbit. It's the newest one. It's called um, Fitbit, bleh, Fit, I actually said Fitbit, Fitbit Charge 3. Um, and he got me this, it's in rose sort of this rose gold color so he actually got me a metal <laughs> a metal um, wristband to go with it uh, because um, well the the original band that came with it was actually a lot uh, less sort of athletic than they usually are it was a little bit more uh, pretty and feminine uh, but he thought I'd like uh, one that was even less sort of in your face athletic looking uh, and he was absolutely right. I love this. <laughs> that was really sweet. And um, uh, yeah, what else? Um, what else have we been up to lately? We went away. We did some traveling um, a couple of weekends ago. Or was it last weekend? No, two weekends ago. Last weekend was my birthday. Uh, we went to what is basically my favorite um, spa in Norway. It's called Fargespad. Um, and uh, yeah, it was the most relaxing weekend I can remember. It was so good. And the spa is so good. The room was so beautiful. And um, it's just overlooking the sea. And we had a balcony, and oh, it was so lovely. Um, and we went to visit some friends of ours that live really close by, so that was nice. Um, what else? I've just been working and everything. If you want to, you know, know more about what's been happening, just head on over to. Um, oh, you're already at the channel. Um, have a look at the Vlogtober videos. I try to do, take a lot of footage. Um, yes, what else? I think that might be basically all that we've been up to lately. Uh, oh gosh, we've watched this series. I need to mention this. We've watched a series on ne Netflix called The Haunting of House Hill. It's sort of a horror, ghost, drama thriller series so if you don't like that it's not for you you probably don't want to watch it alone because it's terrifying <laughs> but it was so good it's one of the best shows that I watched in a long time at least definitely this year and I'm not really a big fan of horror because in generally I think that in my opinion the genre is usually not very well made um, like not the best actors, not a good script, not a good storyline and they just use cheap tricks to make you jump in your seat and that's just, I, that, yeah, I don't like that. But this one was so, so, so good. I loved it. So if you like that sort of thing, make sure you watch it. The Haunting of House Hill, every episode is on Netflix.
which made us zoom through it in a couple of days when we had a couple of um, nights off. We just zoomed through it and did a, a ghost marathon, basically. Uh, but it's such a good show. I don't want to talk too much uh, about it because I'm afraid I'm going to spoil things. Uh, all right, that's about it. <laughs> I need to um, wrap this up because I need to head to the gym um, and get my Friday workout done. And then later we are just going out to dinner, get some Chinese. Um, we usually only order Chinese in. We're not good at going out to eat Chinese. But today we're going out to a restaurant and have some Chinese, which will be lovely. Um, and yes, working all weekend, like I said. So not really anything else interesting happening this weekend, but... There you have it. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. Um, I'll try to make the Knitting Festival vlog as soon as I can. Um, as always, it was a joy talking to you guys. Feel free to hit the thumbs up on the video and comment and uh, to subscribe to my channel, Ch channel if you'd like. Um, that really helps me grow my channel and create better content for you. So. I would really appreciate that um, and hope you have a lovely nifty week. Bye!